Hey everyone, welcome back here to the North American LCS. We are gearing up for our final game of the day. That's Team 8 versus Team Dignitas. Now yesterday, Dignitas showed that their win over Cloud9 was no fluke. Yep, once again, a zingy pig Zach, and he made some smart engages to start some advantageous team fights for Team Dignitas. You know, another player that also came up big was Gamsu. He had 77.8% kill participation. And he showed that full power of Rise. He also had a really good flash play uh, where he ulted over that Varus ultimate to secure the engage for his team. Yeah, Dignitas looking pretty darn good. They're looking to be uh, turn that two wins in a row into a really large streak now while a teammate... These guys are still trying to get their first win, though. So, you know, opposites here in this one. We do have to consider, though, uh, it's been a tough schedule for teammates so far. They've had to face Team Liquid, Counter Logic Gaming, Team Impulse. These are all teams that were playoff teams last time around. So things to be expected, whereas Team 8 finished last split above uh, Dignitas. Like, this is a battle that Team 8 should feel good about. Yeah, true. And, you know, starting a split with back-to-back -back losses like that can definitely play on your psyche. And you know, I think you saw a bit of that in Kali's overreaching play. You know, meanwhile, their new AD carry, Nian, he was a little more upbeat, you know, acknowledging that it was a rough first game for him, but he learned a lot. Yeah, well, hopefully they've learned a whole lot for this one because they need to take down Dignitas. Right now, we're going to check out the starting lineups, though. On the blue side is Team 8 with Cali Trolls in the top lane, Porpoise in the jungle, Slushy in mid, Nian on AD Carry, and Dodo on support. And on the red side, it's Team Dignitas up top, Gamsu in the jungle, Azingi mid shifter, AD Carry core JJ, and support Kiwi Kid. All right, so Team Dignitas, one of the very few rosters who held their entire lineup together from last split. And they've actually looked pretty darn good because of it. These guys sitting on two and one. They are one win away from being tied for second place at the end of the day. That's an incredible way to start your season for Dignitas over here. Uh, meanwhile, teammate, they picked up a new AD carry with Nian Tonso. Uh, they've played only one game with him so far. They were saying that in scrims, the improvement was immediate. Everyone liked playing with him. They thought the team's going to be so much better. But it's so far been a pretty slow start for the team. Yeah, I mean, that was just one game. They had to play it's CLG, true. who yeah, it's were true. looking very strong. For uh, for Dignitas, though, I really did enjoy uh, Kiwi Kid's interview uh, after last week when they were, he was asked about uh, the roster swaps and when they make any changes in the offseason. I was like, yeah, they just couldn't find anybody you know, that they thought was better. So every member on the team is irreplaceable. All right. They have that much confidence in the team and the squad that they have right now. I mean, to be fair, if, if results kind of continue the way they are, Dignitas are going to end week two tied for second place. I wouldn't change that roster ever. Like, almost <laughs> oh. every team would... <laughs> sorry, sorry, yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Strong language I, I didn't mean to say ever, but I mean, certainly that it shows that that roster is working. I did misspeak. Thank you for the correction there. But uh, yeah, I mean, Dignitas are poised to look really very good this split. And uh, Coach Rico, who's been there for a little while now, he joined partway through the last split. Uh, Dignitas ended... Uh, the spring split actually on a small upswing. They started picking up a couple more wins towards the end right there. They're one of the better looking teams right now. And, and to think about it, we've seen so many teams kind of flounder I in between the two splits. We've seen uh, Cloud9, I think, make the, the biggest sort of departure from how good they used to be. Team Impulse still uh, look like they have room to grow. And, and Dignitas looking to be in the top half of the teams in terms of skill right now. I like that these two teams have uh, pretty different strengths for them. Uh, Team Dignitas, I really like their uh, uh, Gamsu as well as Core JJ on the two opposite sides of the map, the mm -hmm. side lanes there, whereas Team 8 is so heavily focused around Slushy, and if Slushy has a successful game, you know, yep. whatever type of champion he's on, Team 8 usually tailor it around Slushy. Whether he's on Ziggs or something like LeBlanc, they'll change the play style. Uh, basically to revolve around their mid lane pick now mm -hmm. that he has really proven himself on this team to Absolutely. be you know, one of the biggest carries. Absolutely. Slushi has been nothing but impressive on Team 8. And I think their goals with picking up Nian was to actually add another consistent force. Kali Troll's the wild card. Sometimes he can take over games, but it seems to be uh, the exception more than the rule. But the guy that they've picked up to be that consistent damage dealer is that new AD carry in Nian. And I got to cast him all throughout the Challenger season when he was on Fusion. Uh, he wasn't known for his laning phase, but he would always... Uh, think about Altec and how Altec always gets farmed. Nian would always manage to end the game with like the most farm in the game. He's also a vocal player. He could help with shot calling. And then in team fights, he would show up and do a lot of damage. That's the role that Nian had. And when you've got players like Kali Trolls and Porpoise and Slushy who are making all the plays early game, you just need someone who can sit back and farm and then turn it on into team fights. The one loss Nian's had so far this split has been a CLG. It's an excusable loss. CLG's a very good team. 